Hey everybody, we're walking, we're counting you down to the weekend. It is Thursday, one more day. Hang in there, you can make it. Welcome to another episode of A Blind Guy, his wife, their life. Live. Guys, you know how we do it. We count you down to the weekend every Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday Friday. Friday at eleven fifteen a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now you can say it. <laughs> you I, already said it. I said it too fast. They didn't understand that. Eleven fifteen a.m. Eastern Standard mm-hmm. Time, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, where we take a thirty minutes to an hour to have a great time with you guys and a special guest. Yeah. We always introduce you to fabulous people we met along the way through our personal and professional journeys. Today is no exception to the rule. Today, we got somebody that has a, a man of many talents. We discovered a hidden talent is one this brother can sing. He is filmmaker and film producer, Monty Ross. Monty, you're going to come in and say good morning to our viewers? Let's do it. All <laughs> right. Hey, everyone. Happy to be here. Laquita. Corey, it is so happy to be here. Let's have some fun. And uh, yes, we are all looking forward to the weekend. I believe it's Father's Day, right? Coming up really soon. Yeah. So yeah, we can mention that and many other things. Yay! <laughs> all <laughs> right. So Monty's going to be talking to us about his uh, experiences working with Spike Lee and his new, new ventures that he's working on now. So we will see you soon. But just so that you know, Marlon is in the building. Marlon is Marlon's in the building. building. Yeah. <laughs> All right, because he's like, Monty, my man. All right, we're not even supposed to be in the comments yet, so we'll see you soon, all right? (laughs) And, of course, we always end each episode with a a plant-based treat. You By Chef Laquita Marie, you're going to give him a sneak peek at the plant-based treat for the day? Absolutely, guys. It's a super simple one that includes fruits and vegetables, believe it or not. So always getting you to eat more of those things. Here's a sneak peek. Great grilled cheese. Already made some grilled cheeses. I'm just going to show. Oh, that was it. That was too much, Corey. I gave them a little mm. bit more than they were supposed to have, but hey, <laughs> they got a sneak peek. And of course, we have a great lineup going this weekend. This week, uh, we had a great lineup. We want to show them the schedule for the week. Yeah, sure. Because you know what, guys, we're always trying to get you guys to give us a thumbs up. So scrolling right down there at the bottom of the screen is Blind Guy, his wife. Dot com. So when you head over there, you are going to see something special. We'll give you a sneak peek at that as well. It's this week's lineup. And so here we go. Thanks to Real Talk at, uh, at Real Talk with Intabi. So Wednesday, you guys know that we had Rita on here on the show. Today, we've got Monty Frost making films with Spike Lee. And Friday is Financial Fridays with Kwame Trading. So absolutely. Always so it's a good time here at Blind Guys Wipe Their Life. Yes. So, guys, you know what to do. If you have not already, hit the thumbs up. That means a lot to for this production. It means a lot for this stream. And when you head over to, well, Corey, did you want to tell them like how to hit the thumbs up or anything like that first? Bum rush the button. Because I know you always say that. I want you to smash that like button. I want you to just tear it to pieces like my Washington football team is going to do to the Dallas Cowboys this year again. Mm. <laughs> or the New York Giants again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and again, like I said, because this broadcast is member supported by Oh, viewers, thank you so me. much. Coach Remy is, has already liked it. So I yeah, appreciate thank that. Thank you, Coach Remy. Yes. So do whatever Coach Remy did. Hit the like button. And then um, look at Marlon in there. Got his uh, 100. That's what I'm mm-hmm. talking about. See, we weren't even supposed to be in the comments yet, Corey. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Guys, I'm going to share with you blindguyhiswife.com. So that way you can know how you can make an even greater impact with this stream. Head on over there so that way you can keep in the loop with what's going on. You'll see this right here. Corey has a wife. Corey's eyes don't work. He has a wife. (laughs) Uh, they, they They celebrate life. That's what we do. You can see how you can help by scrolling down. You can buy us a coffee by supporting the production when you click the green coffee cup. Stir it like coffee. <laughs> click a click a click a click. Now look, we are they actually buying us a cup of coffee? This is not where you're purchasing us an actual coffee. This is simply a 
fundraising platform for creators. It's not like GoFundMe where you just was unprepared and you begging. This is like we're creating something and you are supporting this production. <laughs> right. So, if you click, so I'm going to click the green coffee cup. It opens this widget. Go ahead, Corey. You click the green coffee cup and then that's how you can make uh, sure that you this broadcast is member supported by viewers like you. I'm typing in 25 coffees because you can always choose like one coffee, three coffee, five coffees. And type again, in. these are not literal cups of coffee. These are just <laughs> this is a fundraising platform, <laughs> like an emoji, a fun emoji. Yeah. You can see who else has supported this stream. Like it says, recent supporters. Wow. Bought you a coffee, that sort of thing. And so, of course, Corey has been blind for 25 years years. That's why I put in 25 coffees. When you scroll down, you can always see what the schedule is for this week. Click any day and it will show you what is going on. You can look at new episodes, old episodes, or you can, of course, see that film that we just showed you this week's highlights. Scroll on down and you can see the details of our hashtag 25 for 25 campaign. So, Corey, we're going to have a good time today. I think we should head on over to see what these folks are talking about. Let's talk about, see what our viewers are saying today. All right. So you guys know that I read the comments because Corey can't see. And his Thank eyes- you for saying it because I thought you would say Corey can't read, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, Corey can read. And so, of course, Corey types a lot. His computer talks. Guess who's first place, Corey? It's a, it's a, mar- it's a fitness person. They can run marathons. Coach Remy. You already know. Coach he, Remy in the house. He has an unfair advantage, guys. He's he a coach. Fast. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's a coach. But don't worry. You guys can also be first. Um, let's say like XDMC is in second place. Saying, X- <laughs> <laughs> saying one love family. Check out Coach Remy's, uh, Coach Remy's YouTube channel. And check out XDMC's YouTube channel, Barnstorming Productions. Yeah, both of them have wonderful channels. And XDMC is working on a surprise for everybody. XDMC is a producer, film producer, and all those kinds of things. So I'm sure he'll be excited to see Monty today. But if you want to be in first, second, or third place, like Phil, uh oh. PWJ, you got beat by XDMC. <laughs> <laughs> He's shouting him out, though, saying one. And then, of course, Coach Remy is in there saying hello, all the guys talking to each other. And finally, we got a lady. Hey, Audra. Hey. Audra in the house. <laughs> Audra won one of our giveaways recently. So, Corey, let's start the giveaway. Like, what should the people type, start putting into the chat to win this first giveaway? Because Coach Remy got first place, but we do honor our first place pony. All right. Let's type in hashtag Monty. Oh, I like it. That's easy enough. Hashtag Monty. Not the full Monty, just, you know, Monty, the one that's on the show today. So, guys, hashtag Monty. And um, you might also get first Place pony or bragging rights is basically what it is. That's M O N T Y. Yes, M O N T Y. Look at Phil. He's shouting out Coach Remy, Audra saying good morning to everyone, and all the way from Kenya, Irene Zab. Irene, how are you this morning, Irene? Yes, she says hello. Friends have just joined. Irene has an amazing channel, guys. If you want to see what Kenya looks like right now, today. Not like Africa. You know how people think East Africa, large game, wild animals. Nope. She shows you the street, the cities, the towns, everyday things, what the universities are looking like. And then every now and then she might show you an animal or so. But it, it, she shows you the real deal. Irene and Zab. Irene and Zab. Instead of Aline and Dab. You know what? I don't even know that song. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, you know what? Look at Phil. Coach Remy talking trash. Corey talking about at Phil Waldo Jr. You know who has the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have corrupted Coach Remy. You know what? That's wow. right. That's right. Put your foot down, Coach Remy. XDMC is like, hey, Coach Remy Fitness. I knew the fitness coach would beat me for first place. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Get it in there, Marlon. He's saying grand rising, but you know, Monty's your man, but you got to also put in hashtag Monty. So for anybody that's like, how do I spell it? That's how you spell it. So Irene is a lady. You know, us ladies are always so polite. Greetings to everyone. <laughs> and look at XDMC. He says that artwork in Monty's background is fire. I drew that. <laughs> Let me keep going. Let me just keep going. Keep going. <laughs> the guys are saying hello. Our kids are saying mache or good morning. And tree. Yes, the Ghanaian language of tree. We learned that yesterday with Rita. Uh, when ball is in the house. When ball. Yes, I get it. When ball says I'm working, I will rewatch later. Most of us are working anyway. When ball, we just sneaking in to. How you do you know, spell that? When ball. 
two words, win, ball. Like, uh, he he winning and ball, ball out. Mm -hmm. okay. He balling out. Hey, Penny, she says, I'm here. Penny How are you guys doing? House. Yes, love from Penny. She's in the UK. Don't forget to hashtag Monty for this first drawing for the first place pony. Yes, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the screen so that way you guys will know how to spell Monty because sometimes I'm not going to say anybody's name. I'm going to just say that XDMC and Phil and all of them, sometimes, you know, they don't spell the same way. Mm -hmm. So uh, Coach is being polite, saying hello to Irene. And look at Phil. Coach Remy, I just know it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> so we have everybody in here giving us thumbs up. Look at Penny. She's like, I, she says, I, I like, I almost broke my fingers. <laughs> so good. Hit the like button, guys. Corey Jack is strong in his coffee this morning. You know, Corey is talking a lot of trash, y'all. I didn't even say anything yet. You know, you going back and forth with the guys. You're helping them. You oh, egging okay. on the. I, mean, I sang a couple of songs, but. <laughs> see? I guess that's it. Smash that like button like you're on your honeymoon. You know what, XDMC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can always count on XDMC. <laughs> Let me get over here to a lady because Phil is shouting out Marlon. Don't even laugh for it. Thank you for not letting me have my straw in my mouth that time, XDMC. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's a lady up closer than Shabo. Oh, and, up closer than Shabo. Yeah, she's in South Africa and she says, I miss a lot of these lives, but today I made it. All right. Well, you're just in time to enter the drawing for the bragging rights for being in here first this morning. So put in hashtag Monty for your for your drawing. And then, of course, you guys, after this live, check out Up Close Within Shabo. She has a great channel as well. And in South Africa, you hear about what's going on there. And it's it's just so cool, guys, to see like normal people. Her background looks like your background. She's got flowers. She's got a table. She's got a kitchen. And I'm saying that for the Americans that are like, what's going on in Africa? I'm scared. Don't be. <laughs> because Sizzle's Diaries is also in. Sizzle. <laughs> Diaries. <laughs> she says, hey, hey, family greetings. Where is she? What country? Namibia, right? Because uh, she shows you <laughs> she shows you everything there as on the well. Spot with that one. <laughs> Head over there, guys. You'll see it for yourself. She does highlight a lot of culture. Um, hey, look at who's here. We've got the humble Gambian saying hello, family. Humble Gambian in the house. We even have Mickey IJ. Mickey, hey, there. hey, Mickey. <laughs> we got a fellow hey, guy. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow the latest man here, Mickey. Hey, you had to change it up. Yeah, I changed up that one. <laughs> <laughs> so he has his in there. Sizzles is uh, being polite to everyone. And see, I see what you're doing. You keep throwing the brothers under the bus. I'm not, yeah. but look at they, Sizzles this, being nice. No, look at Irene's Sizzles. Irene's being polite. So and so's being polite. But they're the not. Guys are acting up. <laughs> they talking trash. <laughs> XDMC talking trash. Phil yeah, talking trash. Guys, <laughs> let's just do a giveaway because I mean, you know, and Shavo says it's morning. Is it morning there by you? You know, and so you know, she's asking about the weather. The time and everything. She's saying hi to Sizzle. Sizzle's is saying hello back and greetings. I'm just saying, Corey. And look at, see, see, here's what I'm saying. I can say good things about the lady. And what does David Hunt do? Hashtag Mighty. <laughs> <laughs> David Hunt, you get the prices right. The prices right sound. Bum bum ba dum. You had it right. The prices rag was right, but he fixed it. And we, <laughs> guys, we are not going to talk trash about. Um, David Hunt, because y'all know. He hooked us up with his microphone. Let me just show y'all what's going microphone on here. Microphone check. Mm -hmm. Microphone mm -hmm. checker. Microphone this microphone check. right here was made possible by David Hunt. He built it with his own hand. <laughs> Guys, head over to David Hunt's channel. Every morning is where I get my editing done while he's playing live piano music. Then he engages with us. And he also is a tech guy. So like in his description, he has his different tech kits. He recommended this mic. And then I could troubleshoot, troubleshoot it for us on the right before we went live yesterday. Yeah, and it's working. So I mean, everybody's doing their thing. They're getting hashtag Monty in there. I say we go for the giveaway because the Umble Gambian is currently in the Gambia. Nice. So nice hey. to have you here from the Gambia. And thank you, Irene. She says you guys made my day. Thank you so much. See. And she says, I'm so humble. And her comment came right after Humble Gambia. You see how us ladies, we play <laughs> off of each other. We do good things and we spell things right. But, you know, Monty, uh, Marlon is in there. He's got hashtag Monty. So let me see what Mickey says. Is it about making films? I'm all ears. Absolutely. Yes, is. Monty is a filmmaker even currently. And so we've got a bunch of good things to share with you. So let's see what, uh, what we're going to do. David Hunt says, 
I know who's winning today. He says it's him, Corey. So let's All go right. for it. You ready? I'm ready. It's time for today's first place pony. All the jockeys are in the gates. Bring they're off. All right, let's see who's gonna win. Sizzles, Mickey, Phil, Coach, XDMC, Penny, Audra, up close to Inshabo, Marlin, Sizzles, Mickey, Marlin, Phil, Sizzles, Mickey, Sizzles, up close to Inshabo, Marlin! Marlon Head Hargrave, the Thespian King, wins today. The first place pony, Greg and Wright, for being one of the first people into the stream today. So let's congratulate Marlon. Congratulations, Marlon. You are a real winner. Like in real life, of course, we know Marlon. And so this is wonderful for him to win while his personal friends. So look, I say, you know what? Everybody is congratulating Marlon, but also... Uh, they were excited about David helping us as well. So Sizzles was like, wow, amazing. Thank you, David. Yeah, David Hunt. So, Queen, for those that came in a little bit late, do you want to show them? The no, line? let's get into the jump right into Yeah, it? let's right, get into let's our get. Even David said, congratulations. Go ahead, <laughs> David. <laughs> as long as it wasn't PWJ, he was going to be he was okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry into my, yo, I need to be in that game. Look, boom, <laughs> hashtag Monty. We got another giveaway coming, though. So today's special guest is a great friend of ours and a great professional advisor as well. Very talented gentleman, man of many talents. Monty Ross. You know what? Here. See, you can't, every time you can't I get started, get... here we go. It's, it's the guys, Corey. It ain't me. Look, I was just going through showing everybody. Irene, congrats. Audra, congrats. Penny, congrats. Everybody. Here come XDMC. The ladies said congrats. I can always count on this channel for reminding me I'm black. <laughs> I lost again. <laughs> Thank you, Phil, for bringing it back for the guys. Say congratulations, Marlon. <laughs> Get into the introduction and talk fast because we don't know what he's going to say. <laughs> okay. It's the <yeah>, XDFC. <laughs> All right. So uh, today, today's special guest is a man of many talents. This man has been, has produced films, and I can't even make this up. He's produced films such as She's Gotta Have It, Malcolm X, and was even shown as a, making a cameo in the movie Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. This guy is a behind the scenes star, or on the screen star. He is a magazine star. He is even a singing star that we just found out this morning. Mm. We're going to meet the man that makes Steven Spielberg, that makes George Lucas, that makes all those other guys that produce movies pale in comparison to his talent. That's what I'm talking about. He is a man whose camera shots can, can make National Geographic bow down in shame. He is a man who just takes the camera and makes it look like you are looking at through God's eyes at creation. Okay. He is none other than filmmaker, producer, and today we discover a singer, Monty Ross, today's featured guest. Yeah! Man, who is that guy you're talking about? <laughs> We're talking about you. Oh, man, man. I am so happy and excited to be here with you guys. This yes. is like awesome, awesome, awesome. And congratulations, Marlon, uh, for winning. And everyone else, man, everyone is doing some really, really super duper exciting things. And I just really appreciate. Uh, this is what one thing that I really uh, am passionate and, and really love. Just as artists, uh, being independent and utilizing all the tools that are necessary to reach your audience and be engaged and, and share, you know, and, and mm -hmm. I think that's just one of the most important things that's going on right now. So hats off to you guys and <laughs> man, always appreciate, always appreciate what you guys do because you bring so much to the table Thank and you do it without asking. You just say, Hey, look, we're bringing us. <laughs> And our whole tribe. <laughs> and we're bringing guests to the show, too. Let me tell you, it's, oh, you know, we, we have been having so much fun with this particular show. Because, of course, we know you from back in the day when we were doing live shows. And we still do live shows. We say um, live yeah. in person in the theater. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. Is there an echo? Are you, do you have another screen open um, by oh. you, like YouTube on another place? Oh no! I had, I closed all, all my stuff. Hold on, let me. Uh, 
All right, because you know what, Marlon, Marlon was. What about now? You can hear me now. I can hear you. Yeah. When you were, when Corey was doing your introduction, Marlon was like, he also found Lisa Ray adding adding to the intro. Oh, Lisa Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lisa I Ray. got a feeling. I got a feeling XDMC is coming in right behind that one. I don't know because you know the girls were so respectful. Penny said it herself. She said, oh, "Hold yeah. on, let me let me put these headphones in. If y'all hear an echo, hold on." Okay, sure. Penny was like, "Yes, gal, respect." And then Irene was like, yes, we are ladies. And then here come Elizabeth. Hey, hey, people. Hey. Oh, what, what about now? No echo, right? Where in the world is Elizabeth? <laughs> you know what? Elizabeth has a great channel. She is in Ghana right now, oh, actually wow, traveling. Man. Well, she might not be because she'll put up a film from another time. But Coach Remy is still talking trash, talking about tomorrow. Tell the XDMC, tomorrow is another chance for the victory to be yours. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we have a lot of folks in here just having a great time, Monty. But today we are celebrating you because awesome. you are amazing. And XDMC is saying it. XDMC is from uh, New York City. And he mm -hmm. says she's got to have it, a classic shot in oh, yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, you know? yeah, sure was. Uh, yeah, that was that was one part of it. I think that uh, okay, we get, we have no echo. Okay, great. great, right. great. One of, one of the things I want to say is that um, I made the the sacrifice uh, to be an artist uh, come no matter what, and I did that at a very early age, right? And we were talking uh, just yesterday when we were talking, you know, just going through the tech rehearsal and everything about that, and I started thinking about all of that stuff. Um, uh, I started thinking about that, and, I, and as a child, I think I was very curious. That was one of the things that that, that always drove. I was curious, and even though we didn't have uh, a lot of money, right? We had we had you know just a basic working class family. Uh, my pop left early, you know. Pop did his thing, and that sort of thing. But I always respected my father. I always respected mom, but. I was a curious kid, right? So we didn't have money for for toys a lot of times, right? So my great grandmother would literally make her make toys for us, oh. and my imagination would kick in. She'd make like all. I mean, she just make our toys, right? And so I was just really enamored with her ability to do that, right? Now my sister, you know, uh, my sister would complain like, oh, because she wanted <laughs> to fit in. Me, I'm like, okay, oh, we made this? Oh, man, this is great. Man, I could do so many things with it, right? So you've and been so, creative right from the start, in other words. Very creative from the start. And I think there was there was something about being practical because I was that kid. I was the baby of the family, so I always had to wait. My sister always got the, the good stuff first, and then I had to wait and get my stuff second. So that curious... So, so being curious always drove me, right? And then after a certain point, I really said to myself, uh, you know what? I really like being a creative person. Mm. So whatever anybody would say, any conversations in high school, any conversation in elementary school about career goals, career objectives, I would be like, man, but I'm creative. What happens if you're just a creative person? What if you're born that way, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, I said, you know, I'm just going to make a commitment to it. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I have a commitment to it and I'm going to push myself forward. And I say that because a lot of people, their destination is to get to the big contracts in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their big contract is to get on Broadway, right? And those are great places. Those are great places to make movies. And yes, you can make tons of money, you know, in, in, in this business. Have I seen... Uh, Denzel Washington make a million dollars for his for one movie that he worked with us on. Yes, have I seen um, people make five million dollars a movie? Mm -hmm. Yes, have I seen <laughs> no people who make twenty million dollars a movie when they work? Yes, uh, and, and then Monty, you know, I think. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish yeah, that yeah. part because I, I want to show something and, to you. And the, and the reason I'm I'm saying that is because those. Sums those that that amount of money is available, yes, right as a fee. But also, you can wind up like a Tyler Perry, and develop a brand, 
And the brand exponentially grows and grows and grows, right? And with the money coming in, if you really think about, Tyler catches a lot of heck about images. He, he just catches a lot of heck. But I respect Tyler because what Tyler did, when the money came in, and Lord did the money come in, he micromanaged those dollars to, to make sure that he was growing exponentially so that the money was working for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when the money begins to work for you in our business, what that means is once you have one asset completed, right? Once you have one show done, right? Now it lives, there's a the time, but then it goes into syndication. So mm -hmm. Tyler Perry's work right now is in syndication. That's just a license to print money. And all <laughs> it's going is every day, I can guarantee you every day, Tyler just looks, he's probably got a big old television somewhere with his accountants, just looking at the money coming in and like, oh my God, I am so glad. Mm. And for him, he's like, I am so glad I pursued my talent. I reached my audience. But when the money came in, I learned the mechanics of how to structure that money so that the money works for me and I'm not working for the money. And mm -hmm. so on all sides Wait a minute, of this, no, repeat oh, that yeah, because sorry. people don't know what you just said. You said, I want the money to work for me um, instead of me working for the money. So, you know, like like you're saying, you're creative. You started out this way. You had an upbringing of creative people around you that that poured into you and you were, you know, you were receptive. Mm. But let's say here when you were on this screen, this was not you. You know what I mean? This, uh. this was this was not you saying, if I don't get the money, I'm doing this. When you were doing this film, uh, Malcolm X, uh, you know, there's Spike Lee, there's Monty right there. <laughs> <laughs> So when you when you were in this scene and you were in here, you know, what was going on? You know, and that's all you just kiss somebody too. But anyways. Ooh, I'm telling. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was going on? Uh Frankie Manning uh and two or three other dancers who started the Lindy Hop were actually our coaches and they helped us choreograph this this entire scene. Uh, that you're looking at, right? Mm -hmm. And so to be able to uh, to see those movie clips when you see them at their at their peak as dancers, right? So when you are when you are uh, 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 right, get your opportunity in Hollywood to make a movie, right? Mm -hmm. One of the things that was important for us was always to keep as much control of the creative process as possible. Mm -hmm. Right. And so with Malcolm X, we pulled in Frankie Manning. We'll pull in right. the, the folks that Frankie Manning knew. OK, Otis Salid, who was a choreographer uh, for this scene. Otis Salid had been in the business for many years, so he knew many of the experienced dancers. So for us, it was the opportunity to bring in those kinds of folks. Mm -hmm. to work with. You see me right here? I think I'm going to come up. Watch one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, did I? Oh, here I go right there. See why I see? Yeah, I see you. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, so for listen, me, work, working on this thing, here's the thing that's key, y'all. Working uh -huh. on this, and I feel very fortunate that the way we came up, and she's got to have it was a litmus test. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean, Hollywood wants to do certain kinds of films with black folk mm -hmm. and black culture. They, 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 they really do. Here's the issue. They don't know how to speak to the language. They don't know how to speak to mm -hmm. the culture. Well, let me ask you this, right. because this is a question from XDMC. I mean, mm -hmm. first he was saying, you know, Tyler doesn't have to ask no studio to make his movie. There's only a few in the business that can do it. And of course, because he has his own Braun Storming Productions, Phil is telling him, Barnstorming mm -hmm. Productions will be another one. Arjun was saying that was a wonderful uh, scene, by the way. But XDMC wants to know, you know, about this part. You have to tell us what it was like working on Malcolm X because you in the film industry, you know, currently um, for Soul Vision TV, you are their, um, wait, let me get your title right. 
you director of film production. You are the president of film and production, you know, but you didn't start there just there. You have all this other knowledge that you brought in mm -hmm. and you're the person, like you said, you, you, know, you know how to see the shot, set the budgets, figure all of these things out. So what was it like working on Malcolm X? Well, Malcolm X, uh, working on Malcolm X was uh, a combination of, 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 of the management style of 40 acres, right? Really coming to fruition, really gelling, right? Mm. Probably, uh, Spike catches a lot of heck, you know, you know and, and sometimes I'm always after him to really like talk about the process of making a film. His, mm. his ability to, to, to say, hey, I'm loyal to uh, my staff. I'm loyal to key crew members, right? Because the, the key point about Malcolm X was Ruth Carter doing costumes, uh, Robbie Reed doing casting, Ernest Dickerson doing uh, the cinematographer, right? Uh, the camera operators that we have worked with previously, right? When Thomas is the production designer. So all of these, all of these folks, right? Uh, 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 Barry Brown being the editor, right? All of these folks working together, and we had all started working together on school days, uh, do the right thing. So now we're seasoned. So here's this epic movie that we have to make, right? So now, like a finely tuned band that's ready for that really big gig, Malcolm X was that movie for us, right? And so what that meant was that we were ready for the challenge. Mm -hmm. So again, a lot of times, I always try to stress to, to, to filmmakers, they are... If you're not a weekend warrior, making a film a weekend, learning the mechanics of your style, learning how to work with a crew, if you're not making a film, and even if, if all you have is your cell phone, so what? That's not the point. The point is to learn how to take a story, take that idea, and then bring it to fruition, to learn what an opening shot is to learn what uh, progressive complications are for your characters, to learn the journey of the story. Because when we got Malcolm X, now we had a great opportunity to not only uh, tell this story, but to show people the depth of the character, how low he went, but how high he rose, right? And his ability to take on uh, the country, and to tell the country and to speak to power, right? So for us, that was a combination of everything that uh, Malcolm went through. And there was a time period that Malcolm went through that we were able to say, okay, here's his story. Okay, here's the story about the man. Here's the story about him as a minister. Mm -hmm. Here's all these different aspects of Malcolm X. And believe you me, making the film, oh my God, New York, New York, we were in Harlem. Uh, we shot, matter of fact, we shot all over the world. You know, we shot all over the world, uh, you know, bringing this film, you know, to the public. And, and at the time that uh, Rodney King, the Rodney King incident happened, and you can, look up, uh, you can look up the Rodney King incident that happened for a lot of people who don't know. Right. That was a pivotal moment where uh, the cell phone was able to capture police brutality at its worst, right? And so that incident, right, happened. And all I could tell you was that when the, when the police trial happened and there was no indictment against the police, the city of Los Angeles burned. Well, at the time the city of Los Angeles is burning, guess what? We're in the air flying to Los Angeles, coming in, seeing pockets of Los Angeles burn. And when we land, we figure we find out what had happened with the Rodney King incident. And so we had the Malcolm X film, the rough cut. So wow. we go in and screen the Malcolm X rough cut for Terry Simmel and Bob Daly, who mm -hmm. were the president and vice president of Warner Brothers. They both looked at the film and everything Malcolm was talking about. Denzel did such an excellent job of capturing Malcolm, right? The cadence, his words, et cetera but everything he was saying was literally happening in the city of Los Angeles. Mm. The martial law and everything. So when we came out of the screening, the secretaries came running up, we're on the martial law, we're on the martial law. Oh, thanks, you, got, you guys gotta get back home. Wow. <laughs> right? So it so, was so, that impactful. So it was that impactful. And we went into a meeting, going to a meeting and 
at that moment, they asked, what do you guys really want? And Spike said, well, we want this movie as it is. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, Terry Simmel, who was the president, said, uh, strong consideration for a yes, right? And Bob Daly, <laughs> the vice president, said, we can't do a three-hour movie. And Terry goes, do you see the city of Los Angeles is burning down? <laughs> I will not have this on my watch, right? This is something. And so, and so that was that was how we got the length of the movie that we wanted because at oh. the time, because at the time, uh, literally, they just didn't know, and they didn't want anything, any bad press to escape. Right. They, they had censored and and and. Um, they wanted to do the regular version of Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it, it was the serendipity of how things work together sometimes. And you never know how things that are actually happening in society, right? That you are, that, that's why I'm always so anxious for people. If you have a dream, mm -hmm. do something, don't wait. Actually go out and do it because you never know what can happen uh, that the film that you're working on at the time can be that cultural place that everybody comes to watch right. a movie to find out what's actually happening in society. And you can have a great dialogue about that. So that's you a know. long way of saying that I feel really blessed to be able to bring, to have brought Malcolm X, um, uh, th that story to light. And also a lot of people don't know that myself, Jeffrey Garfield, Adam Clayton Powell, uh, Adam Clayton Powell Jr., and Adam Clayton Powell the third, um, the third and the fourth, we brought his father's story, which is which is the Adam Clayton Powell Jr. story, who was another mm. pivotal icon. So we brought that story to light, and that starred Vanessa Williams and Harry Lennox. Uh, oh, and we started really, start who Monty. Uh, this is, is based on Adam Clayton Powell Jr. The no, icon. No, who, oh, the no, who did it star? He just wants to oh, hear oh, say star, Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa Williams. <laughs> 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 it started Vanessa Williams and and Harry Lennox, and that was released with Showtime, Paramount Television, um, and so those those films around. I really feel you know honored to be uh, have gotten a chance to bring those stories uh, to life, so that years from now, all all of our children and everyone else, when they're grown, they have a chance to look at those kinds of uh, that type of content. You right. Know? You know, this is this is very difficult to. Um, to, to just to just go anywhere because of course um we've got folks in here that's supposed to be at work you know Monty in here talking about I'm supposed to be working but I can't I'm sorry XDMC says I'm supposed to be working but I can listen to Monty all day real school in session um because this is the type of work XDMC does he's and uh he's Bill he's an yeah he's an animator he does he's a sketch artist he's a filmmaker a producer he does it all as well and Phil claims he's gonna get get going to work soon because you know this is dope. This is dope. Mm -hmm. And then of course you are mentioning Vanessa and, and <laughs> XDMC is like, ooh, Vanessa. And even David Hunt talking about this is an awesome conversation. Yeah. Phil's trying to get you to repeat it again. Uh, you know, saying who Monty and um, Irene Zabsey. The ladies, amazing. <laughs> David, we know you're supposed to be working, David. Now, here's, here's what I do want to ask you about. Mm. Um, what I do want to ask you about, I should say. We know that you are the president of film and production mm. at uh, Soul Vision TV. So I want to hear uh, about Soul Vision TV. For those of you that aren't familiar with Soul Vision TV, um, look at Tope, uh, Corey. Tope is in Germany, but Tope. she's from Nigeria. <laughs> he says, I'm here watching, bro. I'm on live stream. I'll come back in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so where we are right now is that uh, our, we have Soul Vision Television, we have Soul Vision Magazine, and we also have uh, Solidify Productions. And right. it's so little fly. It's really soul, S O U L, lid, L I D I F L Y productions. And so uh, the company was started by BK Fulton, uh, retired executive, uh, executive from uh, Verizon, he was vice president of, of uh, Verizon, and, and, and decided that he wanted to just go and pursue uh, his real passion. And one of those passions was film. There it is right there. And, mm -hmm. so, and so with film production, 
another good friend of mine, James Persson, uh, who I worked with many years ago, asked me, when I was there in Norfolk, asked me uh, uh, if I would like to meet BK. And so it's just, I said, sure. And so we met. And in 2017, we produced two films. That was uh, Love.com and One Angry Black Man. And both of those films have been released, wide release. They have gone on uh, Netflix and there's, you know, they're still out there, you know, in the, in the world of, uh, of streaming. But since then, we've worked with other filmmakers. Uh, Wes Miller, we produced, uh, in addition to help Wes uh, produce his movie, which was River Runs Red, which starred um, uh, Tay Diggs, uh, George mm -hmm. Lopez, and um, and John Cusack, right? So we 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 have like a lot of a lot of uh, projects that are going on. Wes Miller right now he's on his third film, A Good Day to Die, which stars uh, Bruce Willis. Uh, we we have him. He's he's working on that film. Um, Let's see, we have the magazine, uh, <laughs> Soul Vision magazine, uh, which features, you know, all all categories. It features every everything from, you know, um, from fashion, if you, you know, the tastemakers, all of the people out there who are doing, you know, wonderful, wonderful things, you know, in the African-American community primarily. Uh, but we also are reaching out to all kinds of folks all across the spectrum. So. So we have the magazine and, and and also we have the app itself, you know, with Soul Vision Television. So right. um, so for me, I, I again I just look at opportunities and if there's if there's a way uh that folks want to work with me uh in my in my style, <laughs> in my management <laughs> style, uh, you know, there's a, I, I feel like I have we have a, I've had a great uh uh run at this. And even today, you know, in the world of, you know, mega streaming and things that are going on, I really feel like you can build a company, grow that company. And that's what's happening here at, um, you know, Solidify. So I, I feel really good about that. But also connecting with with good friends and hanging out. Yeah, that's 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 something that's 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 that's, that's perfect for me. So, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm the type of person that um, to me, it doesn't make a difference whether if we're doing Hollywood stuff, if we're doing Broadway, uh, even if but we even if we're doing the Attic Theater, you know, uh, yep, that's, and, and yeah, that's North, I have I have no problem with uh, uh, doing doing any anything down there uh, at at all, you know. Well, so, you know what, Monty? Yeah. Um, I did share your Instagram. This is this oh, cool. post is from your Instagram, so I just dropped that into the chat, everybody. And it says right here, you know, uh, Solidify Productions. And so there, he's show, showcasing their new Broadway play there. Of course, you can always follow Monty right here on Instagram. Yeah. And we've got folks in the comments having a, having a good time here. So we're just going to catch up <laughs> a little bit because, you know, David Hunt oh, says awesome. he, he says he was working, but he says, I take that back. I'm actually working. It just looks like I'm commenting and cutting up. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that you know, um, Marlon says, hit me up. The digits are the same. And okay, cool, uh, cool, cool. <laughs> Phil, Phil is saying this in his, uh, uh, you'll know, Corey, Monty ain't got no job, man. Yeah. I mean, David, David, David ain't got no job, man. Tommy off of Martin. Tommy off of Martin. And, uh, he's like, you right there, and they're cutting up, laughing at all of those good things. And so, you know, Phil is like, yep, still running, Monty. So XDMC, <laughs> XDMC is asking about the artwork on the wall because he's like, the artwork on your wall says it all, brother. Oh, tell, oh tell yeah. About that. Okay, this is artwork from the movie uh, Love.com, and the artist is Buck, B U C K, and he's based in Washington, D.C. So, yeah, this is one of the featured pieces in the, uh, 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 in the film. Yeah, Love.com. Mm. Uh, Shawnee Fox was the director and writer. Um, Brave, be more brave. She was the uh, the star. Um, yeah, so that's that's where the film. Yeah, yeah. I, and I think we also have one piece of Bucks in the other movie, um, uh, One Angry Black Man, and that was uh, that was also uh, one of one of our films too. Um, first time director, first time writer. Uh, you know, Malik Lumumba. Uh, did that piece, and Hans Charles was the DP on 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 that one. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so look look forward to more to more stuff, and and uh, you know, uh, yeah. I'm I'm one Zoom call away. 
You know, have budget, <laughs> will travel. <laughs> right. Bijou Noir is saying hello. Hey there, sis. How are you? Hey, Bijou. Yes, Bijou Noir has some deep conversations on her channel, guys. You can get there and get lost. You will be there for hours learning about your Black self, your Black people, your Black love, your Black history. It's good. It's good. And uh, we've got Phil in here saying Monty is blessing us with this wisdom. And look who we got in here. We got 757 Renaissance Man saying, I'm so proud of you two showing black love and bringing the knowledge and content. All right. So you know the Sean Connor story. Hey, Sean Connor is the man with the mile high box back in the 1990, 1990. And these boxes like, good hair. He really has some good hair. And then Coach Remy is saying, uh, talking to Phil, he's like, indeed, I have my pen and paper. This has been so good today. I know that one, I'll tell you one cool thing, Monty, mm -hmm. is that you were um, talking about Soul Vision TV, the app. You were also talking about Solidify um, as well as the magazine. So, you know, you, of course, have been featured in that magazine as well. So I just want to head over there just to show everybody the magazine. I'll drop the link in there. But when you head over to this particular article and you scroll down, you know, you see Soul Vision at the top. Mm -hmm. You can get Soul Vision TV from here or Solidify Productions. Mm -hmm. uh, you scroll down and our guest from yesterday, she's from Ghana. Rita Cohen from the Tadwood African Cultural Alliance. Yeah, she was also featured here. So it's cool. You know, this is a this is a hub for all of our people. Mm -hmm. And Rita's mm -hmm. right there. So you guys can always head back over there, see what happened yesterday. You can head on over there to Soul Vision uh, Magazine. I'll drop this link into the chat so that you can see what Monty is doing, what his works look what his work looks like and all of those good things. Uh, we've got uh, Pen Mama uh, Penny saying, hello, Remy. And uh, we also have Sean saying, come on, let's collaborate. I might have to bring the box back. That's what's up. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, Sean, we gotta get in touch with you. We get a get some get get to have a phone conversation or two. So we'll we'll find a way to connect with you. Yeah, definitely. So, so let me ask you. We, we're about to move into our final segment pretty soon, Monty, All and right. so that means we have to do our second giveaway. So we got to get another hashtag going here so that people can join, win, and then we show our plant based treat before we head on out. I would say hashtag solid fly. But I you just see it all kind of misspellings with that. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you True. Hashtag soul. We, we will do hashtag soul. We will do hashtag soul. And XDMC says, Monty, how involved are you in the editing and scoring process? The films you worked on are edited perfectly. Uh, I'm involved in uh, it's my hashtag banana. Hashtag banana. <laughs> <laughs> he what? had a banana this morning. Okay. So that's why he's trying to get it in. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm involved in I'm involved in every aspect of uh, of the film from the inception all the way down to the final mix of the film when it's when it's uh, ready. So by the time I actually the movie is released, I've actually watched it maybe fifty to a hundred times and gone um, through uh, each iteration of the film, all the edits, you know, all the conversations and. All the screaming matches and all, everything that comes in, <laughs> you know, delivering great content. So I, I, I hear it all, see it all, and and uh, you know, and, and just try to make it work. So right. Good. So we're on to the. We got to come up with a hashtag. Well, you know what? They, we're gonna make them do what they're supposed to do. They're gonna have to spell the day. I got hashtag solidify. So y'all think soul id id i fly. That's all I can help right, you with. Right, there so you go. Little fly, that'll help you get where you need to be. Phil is saying thanks for sharing today. Oh, and no Sanal problem. is like, Corey is a master editor. <laughs> yes, I am. I don't know what yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Corey, of course, writes all of our um, yep. stage plays and all of those things. And Monty, I want you to share one last story. Look at Phil. He's like, whoa, because like I could do soul because Marlon had put in soul. But now they're like, wait, we got to type in the whole thing. They getting it in there though. They getting it right too. Look at Valerie. They all hey, got it. Man. See, the women are coming through. Anyways, you throwing shade against the brothers. I mean, well, Marlon got it right. Marlon got it right. Marlon got it right. So uh, while we're waiting for everybody to get in all of their final 
final uh, hashtags, we do have to ask you two questions. One is how many fruits and vegetables have you eaten today? And the other question is when we were at the Attics Theater working together with the, the historic he Attics Theater, the historic Christmas Attics Theater. For those of you that don't know, it was the, uh, called the Apollo Theater of the South. Mm -hmm. It was built by all, built and financed completely by African Americans. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that really look it up, check out the research. We met you there, Monty, um, Corey and I as storytellers with our dance theater and doing things. Um, you were the inspiration for us to be really just progressive and say, mm -hmm. hey, we can do this thing. You were the one telling us, get your nonprofit. You're already doing the work. You're doing better than most of these mm -hmm. places out here. I didn't know that to be true at the time. And mm -hmm. so I just definitely want to say thank you for that inspiration. Um, you being on here, the men stop talking trash. Look at that. Phil just looks a little flat. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't paste it. <laughs> so Nov says, thank you for sharing your brilliance and black excellence with the world. You make the wow. ancestors proud. Wow. Poor, Penny, poor Penny, what? No vegetables today? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? David Hunt says he was born a winner. Penny, you still have time. I know the UK is only a few hours ahead of us, about four or five. I forget. But Phil is saying, what did I win? Uh -huh. You know what? <laughs> Not yet. What did we say, Corey, they're getting today? A shout out from Monty. A oh, oh a song. A song. Because we found out Monty can sing a little bit. Yeah. He, oh, he, he's he's going to give you a shout out on his Instagram page. And then he also <laughs> sing you a song. Sing you a song. And, but you have to follow, guys. We did drop. Look at Derek in the house. Guys, this ain't Derek. This is Cooking with Greens. If, cooking with greens, Derek. Yeah. If y'all don't know what cooking with greens is, Google, Google it. Cooking yeah. with greens, family, cooking with greens. They have a whole seasoning brand. And you get to meet the whole family. You got Derek Green, Nita Green, and of course, Pollock Green, you know Turner what? Green, and Mustard Green. And the dog is called Money Green. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so here's That's the thing. Up. Yeah, Derek is Derek is amazing. He was featured on this show as well. He's a, mm. He just declared himself the artist and started painting. He didn't declare mm. himself. Mm. He said so. When you go to their channel, they they go live on Facebook every night. They cook they cook dinner with their seasonings. Mm. So what happened? Mm. Yeah, so it's cool. They have a whole line of seasonings. I'm gonna get some in here in just a minute. Mm -hmm. but when you when you go on there, they're cooking dinner, and and he sings too. As a matter of fact. So oh, wow, got, nice. yeah, he'll 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 be singing. Penny is in here singing, sing, sing offer, please. Phil is saying, I have my song ready. Uh <laughs> <laughs> David Hunt really is a singer, though. Y'all know that he's a vocalist. He was mm. born as a winner. Derek is, <laughs> Derek is laughing at you, Corey. <laughs> so, anyways, Derek, they cook dinner every night with their seasonings, and then what they do is you can buy them, of course, but the whole point is that. They are just phenomenal people. So he said to himself, I think I can paint. He went out, bought a canvas, and he does award-winning art. Mm. Like, he would have something better than what's behind you, and that is fire behind you, you know? But mm. the man is amazing, guys. Go check him out. And, of course, go check out my thoughts on everything, saying, hey, how are you all doing today? It's my <laughs> thoughts on everything. <laughs> my thoughts on, I like that. <laughs> he just got back from Ghana also, mm. you know. Never leave. Mm. He's in the Netherlands right now, and he says that he says he's talking to David Hunt, talking about things are coming soon. And David says winning is his middle name, Corey. Mm -hmm. So Derek <laughs> says we're too much. Derek, you are too much. The way your artwork rolls, Derek, make sure you put hashtag solidify because we're doing a giveaway right now. You might win this. So my thoughts on everything. Uh, Noventa is saying greatness at work again. Love your show. You always bring the best people. He's just saying that because he was on here last week. Yeah, and, he, and he's got he's a great he's a great storyteller too because he would tell you a video. I met this woman and she was the clerk at the hotel, and you would never believe what she said to me, guys. The first thing she says when she first meet me, and we're like leaning in. He said she asked me to buy her a mold. I'm like. <laughs> then I was like, the nerve of that chick. <laughs> right, right. All right, good, good, good. Derek has got it in there. Okay, All so right. answer the question. We need from you how many fruits and vegetables you have had today. Look at Phil trying to get his in there. Mm -hmm. You know what? And which ones, if any? Go ahead, Monty, give it to us. Oh, fruits and vegetables today. Actually, yeah, I have had, uh, I have my, uh, my, uh, uh, my ginger, my ginger, 
I have my ginger and my uh, and my apple, and I and I mix all that up in my which we call it, and just take a shot of. Uh, I actually take a shot of of that uh, every day, every day, every day. Right? Mm-hmm. I think I have some watermelon too. So later on today, I'll probably I'll probably have my watermelon and ginger shot. Boom! I take that every day. Yeah. We're, gonna, nice. we're gonna get an affiliate link going for that blender. The blender. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, yeah. I actually added some sea moss uh, too. That's good stuff. Yeah, add that sea moss. Oh man, it's like mm. nice because right. I can't. Nice. I can't tell you like the benefits. I just know like you reach a certain age and fried foods and all that. You just gotta <laughs> leave it to the side. <laughs> Because after a while, your body's like, yeah, you can keep going in this direction if you want to. I know, right? Well, I don't know. I'm just going to come to join you. Well, we're we're going to get to the giveaway because uh, Sean, 757 Renaissance Man, Corey, and you know he has YouTube, a podcast, and all of that. Great. But he started asking questions like other people, trying to be slick with the coffee. Talking about, is coffee a fruit? <laughs> It's a legume. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna do this giveaway because these folks is in here tripping. Phil says there's a picture of me when you look up in the when you look up the word winner winner. And then we got Derek in here saying like too much. He talking about I hope I win a car. You know what? We, we, we have- will. It's called Hot Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you, Penny, for your compliment. She says, My queen, you are just brilliant on hosting us. So all right, let's go for it. Let's go for see, it. See, see, I feel some. I feel some kind of way. See, Marlon takes sea moss every day. He takes. No, he's a just keep him saying, "I gotta say." That's yep. all right. Yeah. Uh, Derek is saying uh, fresh chives too. Fresh oh, chives. Fresh chives. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to get. He some says potatoes, that. garlic, green pepper, yellow pepper, onion, pea protein. Mm. Protein. Do they count? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, listen to Phil. Tomorrow he needs some spices. Uh, <laughs> Contact <laughs> cooking with greens family. <laughs> And David mm. Hunt did have a, a banana this morning on his live and coffee. Is made with me. So let's go for it. Monty, uh, you can say ready, set, go. And that way we will go ahead and, you know, I'll hit the go button. We'll see who's going to win this next giveaway. Now don't say ready, set, go. Say she's got to have it. Hey, she's, wait a minute. Avocado toast with CBD infused oil. You know what, XDMC? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Monty. Hurry up. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. Let's go. And oh, there hey, we are. Penny, Penny, David, Phil, Coach Remy, Phil, Valerie, David, Marlon, Valerie, uh, XDMC, Marlon, Valerie, Phil, X757, Coach Remy, David, Marlon. Oh. Hey. David, I'm saying it for you. Man. It is great. That is great. <laughs> I don't know what Marlon. I don't know who no, he Marlon. is. That was rigged. Two times in the same broadcast, Marlon. It's a trip. It's a trip. So look, hey, Marlon, two times in the same day. You and Marlon, Marlon go. Ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's that good luck. That's that good luck. <laughs> See, that's it. That's oh, it. David, David's in there. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Now, David, David Hunt always says it's rigged, but Derek, you just got here talking about rigged. <laughs> I feel y'all, man. That's... Well, oh, Mar- Marlon says it's, it's divine, okay? Divine. And then here we go with the ladies showing their politeness. Uh, she says, congrats, Marlon. Wait, Penny, you letting me down. She's talking about, again, it's tripping. <laughs> See, thank you, Penny. Keep it real, Penny. Kenyon's keeping it real. That's what you need to call yourself. Kenyon keeping it real. And XDMC. Again, I have to my CBD toast. <laughs> <laughs> XD, we start with a hashtag food for XDMC. This dude is tripping. <laughs> this brother. You know what? Thank you. Thank you, David. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monty, this has been amazing. Uh, oh, of course, we're gonna get you back. Did he have supposed to tell one last story, right? Um, no, I was time? just I was just giving the story about meeting him and being at working. the attic okay. and yeah, yeah, working with him and everything. And um, you know, Phil talking about Marlon, you my boy and everything, but this really is <laughs> <laughs> Marlon is just saying thank you, and we'd like to thank you so much uh for being here with us today, Monty. Uh, um, my pleasure, my pleasure. Well, Monty, if you can hang out in the green room and we'll talk to you, we'll click you back in as soon as the broadcast is over so okay. we can say a proper thank you. But we're gonna shift to our plant-based treat for the day, right? 
Oh, wait, wait, that's that. He did. Thank you, Derek. He says, what did he win? He was supposed to win a song from you and a shout out. So my Instagram, yep. You so you basically got to shout him out on your Instagram. Derek, that's what he gets. Marlon. Oh, Marlon. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that. I do that for sure. So what song are we getting, Monty? Yeah, sing us out. Uh, oh, sing, sing us out. Let's see. Let me see. Um, mm, <laughs> Don't you remember you told me you loved me? Baby, hey. you said you'll be coming back to swear again. Baby, 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 oh, baby, I love you. Hey. I really do. <laughs> All right, Monty, Monty, this is wonderful. Monty picked Monty picked pick a, a song because he saw all the ladies were in here today. So he <laughs> and uh, Monty, did, Monty, this is how I was singing if Vanessa Williams was in the room. <clears throat> you know me, 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 baby, I'm gonna baby, turn this mic right baby. off. It has a mute button. Ooh, this has a mute button. <laughs> nah. The queen will be out the way by Friday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Monty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to take SDS Sykes and smash it like I'm on a honeymoon. Anyway, Corey, just so you know, Sean's Connor said, love you guys. Going back like flat top fades. That's, yeah. what I'm yeah, that's what's up right there. And uh, Derek is impressed. He's like, I got to find out how to get you guys an affiliate link. Thank you, Derek. Thank we you, would Dave. love that. Yeah. that yeah. Would, thank you. That thank would you. help us afford our spices because I need to order another set. <laughs> I usually get another a whole full set at a time. Quit trying to be slick. It'll help mm. us. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon says, "Great, I love it. I love Luther." And uh, so now I was like, "Sang, sang." <laughs> <laughs> and my thoughts on everything said, "Nice, nice, greatness, greatness." Oh man, this is great, yo. No, it was nah, great it was for great. us. Nah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. So we're gonna see you soon. So actually, hang out in the All right, all right, y'all. We'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness, Corey. Monty, Monty is a man of many talents. Like I said, we met him in the Attic Theater and he encouraged us a lot to just keep doing what we're doing. And because, and, and he's pushed us to great, be the great people we are. And I'm not bragging on ourselves, but we do some excellent productions. Thanks and to people so like him but in our like corner. Monty and Marlon. And I even now met with XDMC. XDMC is going to be working on some stuff with us. Quiet as kept. Well, you Whatever. know, Corey Monty has really inspired everybody because Sanal was grabbing her hubby, lighting candles. It's too early for that, but um, go ahead, Milton. Milton, give me a hand of business. <laughs> Sanal has a channel, guys. Head over there because if you haven't had your fruits and vegetables, she's always showing you the herbs, always showing you like things you can forage outside in oh, you your know yard. What I got Luther made Sanal dissolve. You know what? Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> you don't have to replay uh, and Tabby. Stay here so you can see the plant-based treat because that's always a fun part. Penny talking about smooth. Let me, I need my wine now. Ah. You know what? And, <laughs> that's, I, and that's a fruit, Penny. Yeah. It's see? a plant-based treat. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I know work is a lot uh, in Tabby. So this is why we want you guys eating your fruits and vegetables. And see, Phil talking about don't worry about the affiliate link, Derek. He gonna steal his from me and you. <laughs> Come through, Derek. We need you. Working with love, working with y'all. Thanks for the opportunities. L likewise, Marlon. And now it's time for today's plant based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. <sighs> Great grilled cheese. Already made some grilled cheeses. I'm just going to show you the process. Plant-based cheeses do not have hormones of fat content found in animal-based dairy products that can lead to breast, prostate, and other cancers, nor do they trigger respiratory and intestinal inflammation caused by animal-based products. Earth Balance butter melting. This is a plant-based butter. Place the bread in a buttered pan. Add a slice of plant-based cheese. We like the brands Follow Your Heart and Chow. I'm just going to lay some of this plant-based meat that I made. All of these vegetables went into the plant-based meat. Red cabbage, Brussels sprouts, spinach, carrots, onions, and garlic. Cabbage and broccoli are loaded with sulforaphane, which fights colon, lung, and prostate cancer, while garlic can reduce the development of osteoarthritis. The meat is good by itself, and I also tried the cheese by itself before, but together they make like a really great mixture. Another slice of cheese right on top to hold everything together. Top it with a slice of bread. 
The plant-based meats had carrots, which are full of vitamin C for healthy immune systems and to promote healing for injuries. Also, the spinach has plenty of things for healthy immune systems and good vision. Turn the heat down so the cheese can melt and the bread doesn't toast too fast. Mm -hmm. Oranges are a great source of citric acid that help to prevent kidney stones. This is good. The smoke good to bring flavor. Hmm. Good smoky flavor. Not overbearing. This reminds me of a ham and cheese. Yeah. It's really good. All right. All right. Oh, you know what, Corey? We got to get back to um, the, the show. It's back on. That was such a long video. I actually had time to pick up this book. You know, uh, let's see. The New Love, The New Currency. Corey, um, XDMC mentioned this. He said, Sanal has a great book. I ordered it for my daughters and they loved it. So check it out. So I was like, hey, let me get back into that book. He's right. Chapter Penny three. Penny remembered that she had Chapter raisins three. today for Sinal breakfast. Sanal says, I'm be, trying to ignore you, be obedient I'm to just your not husband because you when he's that way, when he had a business, you know that he put it down. Phil, and you, you, Luke. <laughs> Phil is saying, hey, and Tommy, <laughs> that's the back. So you see it's a real book. And he had it upside down. See, that's how you know. Corey, don't pay Corey any mind. <laughs> Love the new currency. Uh, Phil says he is going to uh, get one of those when he goes still seasoning <laughs> from us today, you know, I got to make him a grilled cheese so he can try it because, yeah, it's good. Everybody's saying hey, everybody loves and Tabi, you know, yeah, we love her, too. She did our channel She's art. Happy, she created. Happy. She makes me happy. 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 She makes me. Happy. Yes. Her name means make me happy. And uh, a South African language Shona or is it Swana? I forget. I think her name is Swana. And but she was talking a little trash to my Phil. Did you win today? <laughs> <laughs> no, girl, he didn't win. Hey, from the top. <laughs> He's talking about is that uh, is that vegan breads? I mean, I guess because it doesn't have. I think I try to get bread that doesn't have eggs or any animal products. Right, 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 right. And so, uh, and Toby saying it's good to be here. Phil saying this is. I mean, David Hunt, this is amazing. Look at Phil talking about. Unfortunately, no, and Toby. The system was stuck on Marlon and he went twice. Yeah, yeah he did. Mar <laughs> Marlon fixed that one all the way. I still don't know his secret for that one. But Phil, you went <laughs> twice in one day too, so don't trip. Mm -hmm. And see, Penny not only had raisins, but now we've inspired her to go get oranges. And Sanal, being the ladies that we are, she's saying thank you to XDMC. Uh, Sanal, I mean, and Toppy says thank you for her song, Corey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look at Sanal, Corey, love only. She's laughing. <laughs> How do we say goodbye, Corey? Because, you know, Today was a great day, but tomorrow, oh my goodness, it's another great day. We're just going to show you guys a quick synopsis for this week. So today we, tomorrow, yesterday we had Rita Cohen from the Tidewood African Cultural Alliance. Had a great time today with Monty Ross. Working with Spike Lee. And you know tomorrow, Financial Fridays. Kwame's trading is going to be talking about how he's turned his day trading into the ability to invest in a million dollar real estate investment and still earn an income from, through that property. So join us tomorrow for another episode of a blind guy, his wife, their life live. live. Today, I'm going to sign off by dedicating this one <laughs> to Monty Ross. You know, we will connive. Hoodwink and bamboozle. Thank you, Sanal. She we said didn't. the plant based treat was spectacular. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. You're welcome, Coach Remy, for Plymouth a Plymouth Rock episode. landed on us. <laughs> Especially for us men that got married. Plymouth Rock, the whole mountain fell on us. <laughs> Phil says the, uh, the sister spelled his name Marlon. <laughs> and I was dedicating this one to David Hunt. We're going to close out by saying, It was rigged by Laquita. That's how Marlon won twice. <laughs> When Quita and Molly keep cheating, it ain't very nice. Don't laugh, Coach Remy. Don't laugh at him. <laughs> All right. That's it, everybody. We say deuces. deuces.